today I've kindly been invited to explore the Holman's Test Mine. Whilst I show you around the mine, I'll tell you a bit about the history of the rock drill and the famous Holman's factory. Here we have an Einco mucker or rocker shovel used to muck out the rubble from the blast. This is the jack leg or air leg version of the Holman Brothers Silver 303. It's a very effective and versatile machine used all over the world. Holman's was formed in 1801 by John Holman. Then in 1881, the brothers John Henry and James Miners Holman had taken over the running of the business from their father John. The Holman's Brothers Test Mine was originally developed to showcase and test Holman's rock drills and other equipment. The earliest rock drills were put to the test here in 1882 and to commercial use in Cornish tin mines and in South Wales coal mines. It had marked the start of an era lasting until the 1990s. However, it was a market that the brothers had to break into, as rock drills by Doring had been used in the Cornish mines since 1867. The invention of the first rock drills date back to a patent in 1849 belonging to W.J. Fowle of Boston, United States. This was a steam-driven drill that was an extension of the piston with rotation added to it, and this marked the start to modern mining. Early rock drills were waterless and the effects on the miners health was catastrophic. Silicosis caused through breathing the rock dust into the lungs led many miners to an early grave, probably to the greater extent than their predecessors. These drills had the nickname of widow makers because drill operators at the time had a life expectancy of around four years. It was not until the 1920s that water was introduced at the tip of the rock drill making it a lot safer to work with. Development of this type of drill led to a boom in the 1960s with the Silver 303 sinker, stoper and air leg machines. This winch was made by the Holman brothers and it's still working to this day. The Holman's brothers factory was situated near where Campbell supermarket stands today and at its height employed over 3,000 people on three different sites. It shows the amount of wealth and work that mines from around the world can bring to an area.
With the tin mines and the Holmans Brothers factory, the Campbell and Red Reef area became very prosperous. Here we have my old favourite from Giva, the Holman Silver 303 stoping machine. The Silver 303 was the drill I used whilst mining at Giva on 18 Triglones load. I used a stoping variety and it was an extremely fast and accurate drill due to the built in air leg making narrow vein stoping a real art. During an 8 hour shift I would drill between 17 and 21 8 foot holes then charge and blast them by means of electric detonators. We would still hold our breath while collaring holes due to the amount of dust, but as soon as full power was on the dust would die instantly. At the end of the shift the best part was the blasting. This is a recording of what it sounds like. It is a sound I'll never forget. The ground physically shakes when this happens and brings back great memories. Campbell School of Mines now manage the test mine. Students are able to learn how to drill, charge and fire explosive rounds, as well as learning how to survey the mine using both traditional and cutting edge methods such as 3D laser scanning equipment. Being a granite mine with no load makes it a safe environment for the next generation of future Cornish miners in an area almost certain to prosper from current metal markets. Thank you for watching my YouTube video and I hope you can join me again soon.